Hey YouTube, Dutch Sense here. It is 1 a.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday, May 22nd, 2011. And we have a harp ring outbreak that's occurring right now. Um, I'm going to start with IntelliCast and we'll go ahead and show you what's showing up on their radar and then we'll move around to a few others. Um, you can see out of basically Little Rock, Arkansas, um, there is a series of concentric rings appearing, basically covering the entire state. And I truly believe that's coming from uh, a ground-based station, and it's showing up as interference, but this is actually a sign of severe weather that's going to come to the center of this ring within 24 to 48 hours after this storm blows through. Same with uh, Louisiana here. Um, it looks like it's coming out of, let's find it, a little south of Nachidoc Nachidocus, um, west of Alexandria, basically Fort Polk. Okay, now let's go further north, and there's a giant ring return that's appearing basically um, almost right over my house, uh, the edge of it. Let's go ahead and wait for it here. There, okay? And if you were to follow this ring all the way, um, it would put an epicenter of it somewhere down near Evansville. So, uh, Little Rock to Evansville, for sure, uh, 24 to 48 hours from now, okay? After this blows through, 24 to 48, you're looking at severe weather up to and including tornadoes. And that's so far just based upon this ring return. Now it looks like we may have another one forming to the east. Uh, let's look. Yes, there's a, uh, you'll see it appear here in a second. Okay, see these edges of this ring here and then the ring disappears. So that is coming out of... Okay, let's wait for it. Um, it's coming out of Dice, or, well, Talbe, T-A-U-L-B-E-E. -E. Okay, and that's Kentucky. And do we see any others? Ah, yes, okay, coming up out of epicenter near Grand Forks, south of Grand Forks in Mayville. Mayville to Ada, ADA. And that would be Ada, Wisconsin? Or no, Ada, Michigan? I don't even know what we're looking at here. Minnesota, okay. Ada, Minnesota over to, um, let's get the actual town name. Yeah, Mayville, North Dakota. All right, and is there anything else? They have a way of popping up as you're talking. Yes, out of Billings. There's the edge of a giant ring return here, and this, of course, would indicate, again, 24 to 48 hours from now, then, Billings as well, Billings, Montana. And out of now one forming around western Missouri with an epicenter south of Belton, just a little bit south of Belton now, not directly at Belton like it was before. <clears throat> okay, now let's go look at it on another radar. Here's AccuWeather Professional. And this is going to show us a high def image of uh, radar returns. And you can see it out of um, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Springfield, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, Wisconsin, up near Green Bay, any others? Ah yes, Des Moines, Iowa, and 
even as far south as what looks to be Shreveport down here. Um, let's look at it on another radar image. This is the uh, actual NEXRAD radar site from an EDU, and this is base reflectivity, so we're seeing the moisture in the air. And here is southern Missouri. This is where you're looking at here. Southern Missouri, Arkansas is where the green is right now, and the storms are passing through Little Rock. Um, I just wanted to see what was happening on here, and of course you can see it. There's several things going on. The, these rotating signatures are the ground-based radar stations, and it shows you the frequency that they operate on. And so you can just see, you can imagine that the weather modulation systems are operating on a different set of frequencies, but they're doing the same thing, um, but on a higher or lower frequency. And as they tune up or tune down, it goes through the radar band and it gets picked up. And the station is most likely right next to the ground-based Doppler station. So they're getting roughly the same diameter, same radius, same power source maybe. So there you have it. Let's go back to IntelliCast and take one more look at it so you can see it for, for a really good shot. Let's just see if we can get both of these in here. I'm going to get a good screenshot of this. Okay, one more time. All right. Um, hang in there, folks. Keep an eye on the radar, but just remember the name of, names of these towns. Um, Little Rock, Arkansas. Natchitoches, down to Alexandria, over to Fort Polk, Louisiana. As far south as San Antonio. Northeast, through St. Louis, Springfield, Missouri. And let's jump over to the, ah oh yes, here's a shot of all the low pressure systems, but let's jump over to the AccuWeather one more time. And Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Green Bay, Wisconsin, up in northeastern Wisconsin, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa. This whole section right here, 24 to 48 hours from now, guys, severe weather. And that's indicated by the large number of signatures. And keep an eye on those specific towns that I named, and you'll see that several of them are going to get hit directly with the hardest part of the coming storm that's not yet even formed yet. This, this is going to be, get drawn up, and whatever gets pulled down this way, whatever it decides to form, is going to hit those towns. Most of them, most likely. Today, it was all of them. All of them got hit. Everyone that was named over the past two days got hit with the hardest part of whatever storm was coming. All right, hang in there, folks.